I believe the channel has gone live. Let's see. Let's see just exactly how live we are. Upcoming. Oh, it's upcoming. Notify me. Well, let's see if it's gone live, friends. Let's see if it's gone live. Ooh, little delay. Little delay. Ooh, little delay. Little delay. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole today because I haven't made coffee yet. So the beginning of this stream will be of me using my decrepit old machine but check it out i clean my coffee pot well i mean that's never coming clean but yeah ah, see you told me i was gonna do that just when you thought l shelves was never gonna clean his coffee pot it's good for a year right we'll clean that out next year <laughs> whatever i just realized i got the sweater on and i'm starting to sweat so i'm probably gonna have to step away take my sweater on put a different shirt on because like I don't know, it was freezing cold, and then now I'm free. I'm, I think the sweater is just too, too intense. It's an intense sweater. That's all I had come up with. I mean, realistically, I would walk around in my long underwear, and I decided I should probably stream in my long underwear. So I was like, well, I'll just throw some clothes on real quick. Well, nothing, nothing wrong with putting a few clothes on first thing in the morning. But whatever. I, I just. I'm just along for the ride. Oh, yep. Yeah. We'll give those to the mice. Mice can have some coffee beans. Enjoy your breakfast, mouse. Grind those beans. I just realized I don't have any water out. You know, you think you got everything ready to go. And the next thing you know, oh, well, that's that's a different angle. Yeah, welcome to this angle. Welcome to this angle. So, uh, well, I mean, if you haven't seen it, I made myself a little butcher block. And yeah, I put a piece of paper over my trash can. This is uh, the new coffee station here. It's from a tree that I cut with my chainsaw check the previous videos there's something about that i uh, got the coffee coffee mug station see that's all my coffee mugs over there we have to select one here shortly uh, we'll get a good one don't worry oh about knock the camera over Fire! All right, coffee mug selection time. All right, this is one of my personal favorites. Uh, let's keep the dumb fuckery to a minimum today. Eh, that's, could be the one, could be the one. Obviously, that one's a personal favorite, but I know that bothers some people. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't know which one we're using today. Um, Eddie Van Halen? I mean, can you go wrong with an Eddie Van Halen coffee mug? Oh, man. There's too many choices in life. We might go with that one. Don't be an asshole. I really don't know what I'm going to do today. All right, selection has been made. I am uh, two goats past normal. I don't know why that re like resonates with me, but I really like the two goats past normal. So we're going with that one. I feel like the camera's a little high today. Does anyone else get that feeling? All right. Uh, let's go over here and look at our ingredients now that the water's out. I do have to put a different uh, sweater on because this thing is just... I'm boiling right now, so we're going to give you that. Keep your eye on that. Enjoy that. I'll be a DRB. Be right back. Oh, man. Where? Where's the shirt I 
Judge, there may be stains from last night's dinner on it. That's okay. We're not trying to make a fashion statement here. We're gonna go with uh, with that one. Try something different, right? <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> yeah, this is some riveting internet right here, kids. Riveting. Man, not only did I not get the water out, I didn't get the half and half out, which we have a half and half emergency. Can you, half and half emergency going on there. Luckily, on the way home from the uh, snow shoveling yesterday, score covered my emergency because we can't be having emergency half and half rations it's I, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now I, I need coffee so bad I can't even explain to you how bad I need coffee I mean extremely bad so bad that I'm not even organizing my stuff correctly wait what do we got going on here Jeremy oh hey bud how am I uh I'm caffeine uh deficient Soon to be okay. But currently a little deprived on the coffee. So we're going to go ahead and try to solve that little riddle. Oh. Oh, I shook it up and it was all froth. It was like a cappuccino. Get out. Well, that's, that's out enough. Recycle that. See? Then we save the earth. Oh, did we lose it? Got the spinning wheel of doom on my monitor over there. You'd think I'd be able to keep up. Means it's a foot and a half away. Oh, just in case. So when I went to pick this up. This is uh, Friendly Farms. That's the, uh, the Aldi brand. And uh, went to the old half and half section. You get a half and half, and all they had was whipping cream. And I'm like, what is happening? Like, don't get me wrong, whipping cream is whole and whole, you know, not quite half and half. And uh, I, I was just baffled. Then I figured it out. Someone had just put the stuff in the wrong spot. It was like a full case of half and half. I'm like, well, what do I, I mean, sorry, a full case of whipping cream was sitting in the half and half section with more half and half behind it. I was like, well, all right, I think I can figure this, I can solve this riddle. I know that I need to get one carton back, but like, what do I do with the cart I take out? And like, you know, I was, I finally found an employee. I was like, dude, where do you want me to put this? Do you want me to restock it in the correct place? Because the person who got paid to do it couldn't do it. And then if I do that, I think I'm doing better than the employee because the employee put it in the wrong spot. So I don't think I should be the one to put it in the right spot, but I'll help you. I'll hold the door. I'll point to the spot where I think it goes, you know, consulting, if you will. I will consult you with the old where to put half and half in life. And through uh, collective teamwork and cooperation, we successfully got that half and half to the front and the whole whipping cream to where it goes. All right. We're going, we're going grape juice today, kids. That's 100% juice. No sugar added. Uh, when... It's from frozen concentrated ingredients. I don't even what. All right, three cans. Help me count. This is risky on a white countertop making grape juice. I'm not gonna lie. Only bad things can happen when you make grape juice on a countertop. So we're gonna have an emergency grape juice absorbing. Uh, yeah. Let's make the grape juice first. <laughs> For reasons I don't really understand why. We're gonna do that first. We're gonna need a little elevation on the old uh and then we got a we got a nasty glare going, so let's see if we can get rid of that glare. Oh, it's much better. Much, much better. Alright, new week. What are we talking about this week? Oh man, all sorts of crazy shit happen. Without going into too many details, <clears throat> I have determined that in life people like wait, you do things for fun or you do things when you're not working. 
it's like called a hobby or a, a relaxation time. Apparently for me, one of the things I do when I'm not working is I get fucked with by postal services. That, that's, that seems to be my hobby in life is, and that, and it's really weird. Cause like, I don't feel like I'm instigating it, but like for some reason, and I really don't understand why my hobby is dealing with packaging and deliveries of package. I if I get a job involving that somehow. There's got to be someone who has to deal with that shit all day long. I'm getting pretty good at it. I should look into that. What would that job be called? Packaging fuck-up supervisor? I would definitely be qualified. That's just a mini rant, sorry. Ooh, yeah, that's... When did this expire? That's good till next year. What's going on, Grape Juice? Why are you so heavy at the bottom that's powerful grape juice that's an instant stain right there anything that, that would touch would be instantly ruined forever all right well i got you on the on the horn here i'm gonna tell my grape juice story Ooh, i'm getting spam free girls chat in your in your city in you city how do you know about you city friend if you only knew uh you need to you need to know your audience uh this is not you are not in the right you're not in the right place. Know your audience. But thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In you city. I mean, if you're going to spam my chat, at least figure out how to spell correctly. People would take you a little more serious. But I get, you know, you only want one line. Maybe get rid of that space uh, between the Z and the dash. That might help you get all your text in one line and be able to spell correctly. I mean, I'm not trying to encourage you to be a shitty spammer on my on my stream, but like, uh, yeah, there's room for improvement there, bud. You gotta be helping people out. We're gonna go two, ah ah ah, and then we're gonna blend on two. I'm gonna add more in a bit here. Wow, here we go. Fingers in a cross position. I really don't want this leaking everywhere. I don't know how thick that thickness was at the bottom. It was pretty thick. It was like a slurry, if you will. All right, let's put the third. Let's get the third one ready to go. Ah, ah, ah. One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, man. All right, so. Yeah, I'm probably going to spill it everywhere, but. I told you guys, like, when I made the cranberry juice come up, oh, right there, instant stain, instantly stained. Uh, I made cranberry juice the other day, and, like, I spilt it everywhere, and I wiped it up, but I didn't wipe it up good enough, and it, like, it made a stain on the countertop that I couldn't see with my eyes, but it showed up on camera. It was really, really weird. We'll go Jeep. Beer. Jeep. Beer. Jeep. Jeep. Beer. I'm not sure what that's all about. If you had a Jeep, you would understand. It's a Jeep thing. It's a Jeep thing. All right, here we go. Made the, the starting of the, wait, what day is it? Oh, where does it, where does it say the, all right. December 11th, a day that will live on an infamy, the juice pouring shall commence. So far, so good. He's doing good. He's doing good. He's doing good. Oh, he got it. And then just, yeah. Make sure that didn't get overcooked on the uh, high power juice. Concentrate. All right, yep, just spill that everywhere. Okay, instant stains. Oh, yeah. Yep, that one right there. You see it? Instant stain. Whoever invented grape juices is just, hmm. Ooh, that's yummy, though. I should put that someplace else. Let's put it on the, let's get it out of the shot. All right, actually, you know what? Because this thing will leak out the bottom. Uh, new tools for the garage. Uh, 
Yeah, I got a shovel back. That's pretty cool. I had a shovel. I lost a shovel. I got a shovel back. So yeah, I got a new tool. No harm, no foul on the, uh, oh wait. Thanks for looking at my newspaper pile over there. Jeez. Can't take you people anywhere. All right. I need to get this thing organized because I can't see my monitor. So we got snow this week. That was exciting. I mean, it wasn't just regular snow. It was like it rained and then it snowed. And apparently, depending on how much sunshine your uh, concrete gets, you may or may not have got a quarter inch of ice, which that's what I got. And I still have. And I'm not happy about that. Because it doesn't go away. Once my driveway gets icy, it takes a lot of hot weather to get the air hot enough to melt the ice off my driveway. So I'm pretty excited about that. Very exciting times. I'm very excited. Let's uh, let's use let's use a whisk. What do you think? A whisk? I usually use a fork, but I feel like let's recycle that to the floor. I feel like since I own these things, I should use these things. How's that, how's that aim on that camera? I feel like there's room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. Okay. Last of the eggs. We'll get some more eggs, I guess. There's a chicken. I have to go outside. So we're going to go with... Let the professionals make the eggs. Okay, so my 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 recipe. A little bit of that old moo juice there. Let's let's make sure it's good. So good. Put a splash of that in. I usually put too much. Oh, yeah, we'll go with that one. And then because I think it's, I saw the recipe once. We're gonna put vanilla in here. I'm not really sure why I put vanilla in there. Other than, like I just said, I saw it at Rusty once. So let's go ahead and do that. This is that uh, mix and blend. Best bang for your buck. It is, it is the most vanilla smelling vanilla I've ever smelled. Which I'm sure if you're a purist and you only use pure vanilla extract, you would say this is not worth putting your lips to. But uh, yeah, go check the price of pure vanilla extract and then go check the price of that at Sam's Club and tell me which one you're gonna get. I know which one I'm using. You do whatever you want to do. Let's go show off my left-handed skills. I had someone new check out my channel the other day and they wanted to know why I wore my watch on my right hand. They, they even deduced that I'm right-handed from watching the video and I said, well, I'm contrary. I like to be contrary. <laughs> I'll tell you why. I'll give you the story of why I wear a watch right hand. I'm a firm believer in life of doing things for a reason that's legitimate, right? And uh, with the exception, if you're like, if you're a, if you if you drive a tank for a living, there's specific rules for people who drive tanks for a living. Mainly, if you drive a tank for a living, you put the crystal right here. Oops. That part of your watch face is in because uh, if you drive a tank for a living, you will have no watch face because it'll just get broken inside the tank. That's still a real watch rule that I know. That's a real rule that, that actually applies to like reality. The old rule was if you were right-handed, oh yeah, I got a blister. I got a blister shovel in snow the other day. Real injury. That's a real thing. Uh, if you were right-handed, you wore your watch your left hand because you had to wind your watch, right? You had to wind your watch. And it's hard to wind your watch with your wrong hand because you're wrong-handed. So if you wore your watch on your right hand, you'd be like, I can't get my watch well because I'm... Well, my watch runs on a battery. Actually, this one's solar. That's a solar-powered watch. So I don't have to. So it's just because of that fact alone, I'm like, no, not wearing on my left hand. The, soon, the second I found out that rule, I instantly put my watch on the other hand because I ain't following that stupid rule for no reason at all. What have we got going on here? 
Oh, spoiler! We got spoiler chat! Spoiler! No, I did not find out, but I did get an interesting email. Oh, yeah, this is kind of a spoiler. I got, I got an email from a person that uh, I ordered something from. And the thing I ordered from them, uh, I have a tracking number that says it's coming in the mail. And then I, I got a package in the mail the other day that's kind of like the same item that I ordered, but like from a different company. So I don't really know what's going on. But anyways, I got an email from the person that said, uh, and I don't want to, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this. The email came to my email address from the person I ordered from, and it was addressed to a person who used to live at this address. Does that make sense? Dear person who's not Elf Shelves, but used to live at that address, did you get your item? And I'm thinking... What in the hell is happening? Like, A, that person has nothing to do with my email address at all. Never had, never will, never did, never can, never is. B, that person doesn't have access to my eBay account. Never had, never will, never is, never going to. They didn't pay for it. They don't have anything to do with it. They don't know about it. They don't have it. They ain't getting it. And I'm getting emails on their behalf to my email. I'm just like, who's ignoring it? Let's see. Your watch has multiple functions that your dominant hand could be used for. Oh, you don't think that your your stupid hand can press a button? Er, er, give me a stick. Burr, burr, burr. Doop, doop, doop. See, one, two, three, four, five. That's what my bot. It's all the same, dude. Anywho's. Anywho's. That's that was kind of a mini rant at the beginning about like why can't the post get figured out? So I, I'm just I'm just gonna I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna move on with my life. I'm toying with if the uh, item with the tracking number doesn't show up, I may dispute it. Because I don't know what the hell showed up. I don't know who ordered that. I didn't order that from that company. I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Don't care. Ain't going to worry about it. How many days till Christmas? Well, hold on. Oh, man, this is embarrassing. I haven't been doing my advent calendar. Let's see, I got the... I'm, I'm behind. I'm behind. Last one, it was the 5th, and it's the 9th. It's 11th. Oh, my God, it's 11th. I'm going to eat my chocolates. All right, where's 11 at? There's 11. So then we have 12. Where's 12? That's tomorrow. One, two, three. Why can't I see? Four, five, six, seven. I'm blind. Eight, nine. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I am struggling. I don't see it. My God, what is happening right now? I can't see 21. Where's, where's number 21? Oh, there it is. Nine, 10. 11, 12, 13 days. Sorry if that was really close. I was really, I cannot, my eyes can't see these numbers. I don't know what it is. I literally cannot see that. I'm like, I may, I think I'm going blind. That's all I can come up with. Oh, sexchat69.site. Oh, bro. Know your audience. We're not, we're here for breakfast. We're not here for sex sites, but thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Just one. Every day's Christmas. Oh, how many days? Oh, yeah, I read that wrong. Christmas is technically one day, but it's however many days I counted away. Okay, I'm getting this thing warmed up. We're cooking some French toast here shortly. Yeah, I, I caught that at the very end there. But uh, he meant what you knew, so come on now. I mean, maybe that's a test. Like, uh... Do they have the 4th of July in England? Comment below if you know the answer to that. Do they have the 4th of July in England? Comment below. First one to get it right wins a... Uh, I'll applaud you. Comment below. Do they have the 4th of July in England? Comment below if you know the answer to that quiz. They have the third and the fifth, too. Congratulations. You are a scholar. 
Let's try to get this stupid skillet in the shot. I lowered the camera for a more dynamic. <clears throat> Getting in there. We're gonna use. We're gonna use this uh, classic. This is a. Uh, that's a Flint stainless made in America, the United States of America, classic vintage. Back when like this kind of material was brand new and everyone was excited about it. I don't even know what that is. It's either a Bakelite or a plastic or something crazy. Probably 50 years old. Still flipping pancakes with it. All right. Look at a little water going. Oh, that's plenty hot there. Yep, we're going to burn some French toast. Holy sh Nikes. All right, well, let the games begin. I need a fork. A fork is required for the French toasting of the French toast. Why do I feel like I just can't get the angles right, man? What's happening right now? Here we go. Here we go. All right, what else happened this week that I can talk about that's pretty exciting times? Um. That big egg booger off there. All right, what this week? Um, jeez. Yeah, the ice. That's like the main thing for me. I just deal with the ice. Like it's crazy, absolutely batshit crazy. All right, I got that snow plow on my mule, so I go out and plow, and it's like plowed her straight down to the ice. It's just, I mean, it's like it's like a quarter inch of solid ice, dude. It's just like, oh god. I just don't even know. I don't even know what to say about it. I mean, back when I was a kid, it rained when it was warm out, and then it snowed when it was cold out. But this half rain, half snow shit, got to go, man. It's got to go. And like the forecast coming up, it looks like we're going to get more of this rain than snow shit. Like, if you live someplace warm, I can't express to you how shitty it is when it rains and then turns to snow. It is probably the worst there is ever... Well, I mean, <laughs> I guess a hurricane or tornado is worse weather, but, like, it's pretty bad weather, man. Like, nothing good. Like, you can't do anything good with it. Like, it's not like, oh, yay, rain, then snow. I'm so excited. Like, I'll be throwing salt shortly on your, oh, yeah, you, you have a north-facing driveway, too, so you're probably out by the edge, by the street. You probably get enough sun out there. That's probably melting off, you know, but, like, up, by, up in the shadows, that's, for, that would say, if, yeah, it's going to be there till next year. That ice is going to be there. There'll be, there'll be people with icy driveways on next year. I promise. I actually have to go up to the job site and try to, because it's supposed to be in the 40s today. About 2 o'clock, I think we're heading up. It's still below freezing out there. We're, we were just fingers crossed that it may may get a little warm enough to maybe chip some of it up. But, like, that, that concrete's just coated in a quarter-inch ice. Just quarter-inch ice. Like, holy shit. And the guy across the street, his driveway faces the sun all day. Bone dry. Bone dry. Like, oh my god. Whatever. Let me cry. Cry some more shelves. See, see if it helps. I mean, it feels good to cry. I'm not gonna lie. Where is my. I need some syrup! Ah! Where's the syrup there? Oh, nope, that's an empty one. Here we go. You gotta get ready to start eating some. some. All right, here we go. I'm more concerned because it's package delivery season and I don't need, Yeah, exactly! Well, I had. The package I didn't order, the dude walked up the driveway of doom. You know, like, holy shit. Like, if I know something's coming, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I put, so I put, I put aggregate out. That's what I do. Years ago, oh my God, I don't have to talk about this shit. Years, years ago, I had an ice incident at my house where a human being slipped and fell and I caught them one handed and tore the bicep off my left arm. And from that moment forward, I don't play games with ice at my house. Like, no one would believe how much money I've actually spent trying to prevent the ice at my house since that incident. It's, I mean, from snow removal devices, multiple thousands of dollars have gone into snow removal devices. Uh, ice mitigating contraptions, hundreds of dollars have gone into that. Tubes, heated tubes, longer heated tubes, relocated heater tubes, all this crazy shit that I do. I bought boxes or bags of salt, like... Oh my god. I buy salt by the 50 pound bag. I buy aggregate. I buy small aggregate. I buy medium aggregate. I have large aggregate. All can go down for ice situations in my house. 
and it just drives me nuts, man. Like, if I had to do it over again, I would have just decided in life to be extremely wealthy, and I would have put a heated driveway in. That's what I would have done if I could do it all over again. But since I can't do it all over again, I'm stuck with what I got. All right, let's put some butter on this. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, it's not quite sand. It's like, it's large sand is what I put down. So luckily when that unexpected package was delivered, I had sand down at least on the sidewalk and like thrown out a little bit by the sidewalk. But like that thaw yesterday, all that did is melted uh, the, the ice in the sun and then it ran down to my driveway part. So now I, I have an ice skating rink, like a, sh like a, a groomed ice skating rink. Like smooth ice, ice skating rink. Like, yeah, from like the junipers down. Oh my God, it's nuts out there. So I probably got to go put some salt on that. But like, I don't know if you know anything about salty on gravel driveway. It doesn't always work out so good. Whatever. I just salt so hard on your concrete. But, I mean, what are you going to do in life? What will cost more, getting sued or fixing crappy concrete after 40 years or whatever? Or just having crappy concrete? Whatever, none of my business. How's the food? Pretty good, actually. I was trying to figure out what to cook this morning. And then this dawned upon me. I was like, ooh, yeah, that sounds really good. Maybe two bites one, watch this. I think French toast is probably my favorite. Let's make some more French toast. Let's make some more French toast. So, the snow that we got kind of came weird. I was expecting it earlier, and like, boss man decided he didn't want to go deal with that shit because he was going to snow all day. So I got the day off before it snowed. I was like, no, I need to do. I need to fix that gravel shit show at the end of my driveway because the people that put that in, uh, not a lot of care was, was, was put into the leveling and appropriately pricing of the gravel at the end of my driveway. And I was like, I should probably take care of that because it's supposed to rain a whole bunch and then freeze and that's going to be a solid block forever. So I went down there and I pushed gravel around with my snow plow to try to level it out. And then like, it's kind of weird. Like not that I really care about the people that live down the street from me, but like, I swear to God, it's like that dude. Like, the poured concrete to the gravel road next to my house. The, 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 oops, sorry. It's like that. I mean, they were having to put the brakes on. Driving down a public road, going to an intersection, they would have to put the brakes on, like, 50 feet before the corner because of the speed bump, like, this hump. And, like, part of me was like, ha, 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 ha. And the other part of me was like, that is ridiculous because, like, <clears throat> I just... So I pushed some gravel over there and leveled that out for them a little bit. Made it so it was like a little, a bit of an approach ramp, right? Just a, a harsh jump. I'm a man alive. Why is there a ring of purple juice? God damn it! I just stained my countertop! Alright, let's talk about something else. I'm getting my blood pressure up. I don't even know why. So we got the snow, the gravel, the road construction project. The mystery shipping, the wrong shipping, the shipping shipping, the confusion about shipping, um, whatever. So yeah, I'll have a video coming out on that new RC car speed run than I did the other day. Ended up taking a little more damage than I realized between the, uh, the hitting of the curb and the hitting of the ice bank. So I'd order some replacement parts to fix some shit that got that got tweaked, I guess you could say. My drive shaft got tweaked. The, the car must have compressed and then bent the drive shaft. The drive shaft's hitting the electronic speed control now, so. There's $2.50 plus shipping out of my pocket for a new drive shaft. And I, hopefully I can put it in. I didn't think about that. Like, I later realized they sell drive shafts with the gears on the ends. And I'm like, well, can I just screw that on? But like. It's like a couple bucks. Plus, I ordered new tires. They're on a slow boat from China. I bought in, I bought in bulk because I figured if I'm going through a set of tires every two times I play with that toy, I'm going to need some tires. <laughs> got some street versions. Got some knobby versions. We'll see what happens. 
We'll see what happens. For some reason, I thought tires were a little less expensive. I mean, not bad. It's just like, whatever. It adds up when you buy a bunch of pairs at once, I guess. But any who's, you know, when you go golfing, you got to pay green fees. So cheaper than green fees. Cheaper than the bar. Cheaper than a boat. Cheaper than a pool. That's right. That's right. Oh, the dog just made an appearance. Dog, welcome to the stream. Let me move that in a little bit. Maybe you can have some French toast. Show the dog. Put more pepper on. Put more butter on. Okay, here we go. Just, just spread it on. Spready, spread, spread. Just spread it on. Add some tree sugar to it. Okay. I like tree sugar. Not too much. Just enough. Make sure it goes over the whole shebango. Test it. Make sure it's not poison. Mmm. Cut a piece for the, for the pooch. Will she spit it out? Alright. Fresh toast cam. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. You want some more? Oh, French toast! Hits the spot. Whatever. All right, what else is there to talk about? There's something I like. I was all excited to like share, and then like, I forgot about it. Let's think. Let's think hard. Oh, I know what it was. <laughs> I think, it, I think this person might have been joking with me, but I was hanging out the other night. And it may be from a comedy skit. I don't really know. Someone mentioned later it might have been a, a comedy skit. But this individual I was playing video games with it was a girl. But anyway, she said, oh, I went to high school with a, with a girl. Or no, with a guy. There was two of them. They were brothers. And the mom, when she was pregnant, was like, having odd cravings for lemon jello and orange jello. Well, the first one was lemon jello. So she, she named her kid uh, Lamangelo, but spelled it lemon jello. I named her brother Orangelo, but spelled it orange jello. And at the time, that was about the funniest shit I ever heard in my life. And now I'm trying to figure out if she actually knew that person or if that's like something she heard on a TV show. But for the last 24 hours, all I can think about is Lamangelo. To the point where I don't know if I'll ever be able to eat lemon jello without referring to it as Lamangelo. Or Orangelo. My God, we'd laugh about that. That shit was hilarious. I mean, just for a second, think if that's actually a true story. And I doubt, I don't doubt that there's a human being on planet Earth whose name is spelled Lemon Jello, but their mom calls him Lemangelo. I don't doubt that at all. But you, could you imagine literally every single time that someone read your name in text form and then tried to say your name out loud, they would say Lemon Jello. And then you would have to explain to them, no, in fact, it's not Lemon Jello, it's Lemangelo. Oh my God. That is too. Goddamn funny. Does it get funnier than that? Come on, Lamangelo. Oh, I should Google that. <laughs> it's just, God, I laugh. It's just like something about it is so funny. Lamangelo. Whatever. What else? What else is there in the world besides Lamangelo and uh, <laughs> shitty icy conditions? Oh, my nose is running. Thank you, LED lights. Is that, can someone figure that out for me? Can I be allergic to LED lights? Is that even a thing? God, I swear to God, I am. I don't have a runny nose the rest of the day. I don't think it's coffee. I drink coffee every day. Oh. So, yeah. 
Someone told me I was supposed to make a video for them. What were we talking about? We're talking about Crocs. And like, <laughs> Crocs came up, and people were like, get real. And I was like, do you own a pair of Crocs? They're like, no, that shit's retarded. And I was like, well, if you don't own Crocs, well, that's because you don't own Crocs, you don't think. So here we go. These are my, uh, these are my, uh, my speed running Crocs. They're, they're speedy. I've worn the tracks off the bottoms. So these are speedy Crocs. Now this may not be the only official video I do about speedy Crocs, but there you go, speedy. Your speedy Croc video has been done. You are on the internet, bud. See, look at me checking things off the list. He's probably not going to watch this video, but I can encourage him to. All right. I need to blow my nose really bad because it's like clogged. Hold, hold please. Oh my God. I really don't know. I don't know what's the deal. It's gotta be the light. Can lights make my, am I allergic to LED? <laughs> Anything's possible. Oh yeah, so today, it's basically, that's all I did yesterday was shovel snow. Shoveled snow from one place to another place and then from that place to another place because of access issues. That's fun. But, you know, the snow doesn't show itself. And then I'm going to shovel some snow, maybe this afternoon, at least give it, give it a try. I mean, you got to try. If you don't try, you got to keep trying. I don't, I don't, there's no answer to that riddle. There's no answer to that riddle. Listen here, Jumanjalo. <laughs> Whatever. I feel like there's more. I feel like I'm just missing something. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm just missing something. Something's being missed. I'm, I'm overlooking some sort of amazing goings on. Oh yeah, no well, traffic story. I got a good traffic story. I was just driving down the old road the other day. This uh, this particular section of road should be a four lane, but for reasons beyond my comprehension, this, the powers of be decided two lanes was enough. Definitely a main artery through town. But anyways, driving down the old road, heading past the new middle school, heading down to the bottom by the Walmart. But just as I passed the, uh, the middle school section, there's a curve in the road, and there's a, there's a light. Pass, after you get past the middle school, there's a light on a curve. And you can't see the color, or you can't see the light at all until you get to a certain point on the curve, right? And it's a 45 mile an hour road, so like, you gotta kinda, I mean, it's, there's plenty of room. It's not like you have to panic stop if it's a red light, but you gotta get on the brakes because you're going 45 miles an hour down the hill. And I'm following some guy, I'm not tailgating. He's just the person in front of me and there's somebody behind me and they're not tailgating. We're just regular people traveling down the road. And come around that curve by the middle school. And I see that the light is red. I was like, oh, better start slowing down. It's like, yep, start to slow down. And sitting at the red light, there's a car that wants to go left. And as this car is approaching, this car's parked at the red light. This car gets a green arrow to go left. Well, he, I don't know what this guy was doing, but apparently green arrow go left is the same as green arrow, uh, green light go straight. Cause he blazed through a red light to the likes I've never seen in my entire life. Like just, <laughs> you just drill right through her. Now when it comes to running red lights, some red light running is better than others. In that particular cir cir circumstance, because of the green arrow, the only other traffic that could be in the intersection would be oncoming traffic turning left across our lane. There would be no cross traffic because of the left turn arrow. So the, the danger of a T-bone situation on that red light run was pretty minimal. But yeah, that dude was oblivious, had no idea. When he went to bed that night, he didn't even know that he'd run a red light. He was just whistling Dixie driving down the road, minding his own business. With the, with the off, ch uh, off chance that maybe he potentially could have looked in his rear view mirror and seen me stop at a red light behind him. <laughs> but whatever. That was pretty wild. And then I saw for the first time in my life, they're putting reflectors around stoplights now. When I saw that, I was actually farther down the road by the highway. I thought to myself, all right, 
self, I thought, why exactly would a road department, oops, let me get this tilted down, decide that they need to put, actually, I'm going to just turn that off, <clears throat> put reflectors around stoplights. I, re I really, I really tried to break that down in my head. So what, what, I mean, I didn't go there at night, so I haven't seen it at night, but what it looked like to me was just like the stoplight was wrong around the edge of the stoplight with yellow reflective uh, tape or material, whatever. And it's like, okay, you put a reflector around the stoplights. You're obviously trying to get people's attention to look at the stoplight, but like, is the stoplight not enough? And the only thing I can come up with is people are not paying attention to what they're doing at all anymore to the point where they have to put reflector tape around the stoplights in the hopes that God, you'll see the stoplight. <laughs> I'm just like, what is happening? Like, what's next? They're going to put an arrow that says, look up. To the reflective tape around this. I'm just like, oh my God. But that's an intersection where someone got hit by like a school bus or something or a city bus and got peril. I don't even know what happened. Got mangled and like, what was the deal with that story? Dude got hit by a bus. The bus didn't yield. It was obviously the bus's fault, but the bus works for the city. So it was the city's fault. And that guy hired a lawyer and the lawyer said, yeah, I'll take your case, but I'm taking a percentage of whatever you win. I don't know, not my gig, I'm not a lawyer, and the guy signed the contract, and then he won a huge settlement, and the lawyer got, like, a huge part of it, and, like, everyone was like, that lawyer's a piece of shit, and it's like, well, I mean, obviously, but, like, the dude signed the contract, like, he didn't want to get, I think it was, like, some, like, 50% or 60% went to the lawyer, but, like, the guy signed the contract type of deal, I, whatever, ain't my gig, I just, I just remember that was that intersection, so, whatever, no big deal. I can remember when they went from regular lights to LED lights, like incandescent bulbs. But if my if my memory serves me right, the town I live in was one of the first in all of the United States to get these bright LED bulbs. Very few had them. But what they decided was the cost of replacing all the bulbs would eventually be less than the cost of the electricity to run the old bulbs. So they just did it. And the first night I went driving. Out in the city, those new stoplights, red, green, yellow, they were so bright, it hurt your eyes. Like when you're driving you, and you're like going through an intersection, you're like, ah! The light's just beaming me, it's just blinding you. Those, those stoplights were intense. They were the brightest stoplights I've ever seen in my life. Whatever. I'm getting to the point where I don't even want to drive my car at night anymore because everyone's goddamn headlights are so goddamn bright. I'm afraid to high beam back because I'm afraid they might not be on high beams and they may, like, put a burn mark in my brain via the headlight through my eye socket. I mean, I'm talking, like, like deer hunting bright. These, these are all regular headlights now. It's just like, dude, Really? Is there anybody in charge of, like, like, overseeing the brightness of these headlights? Whatever. <laughs> Shit's crazy. I'm trying to think, like, I actually know somebody. This is a true story, and I don't care if he watches. This particular individual didn't like the color of his lights on his car. And wanted the, wanted the lights that looked like the new cars. Well, the particular vehicle he drives, the high beam is the same bulb as the daytime running lights. And the way the car does it is during daytime running lights, it runs less voltage to the bulb, making the bulb less bright, right? Does that make sense? Sorry about the camera aim. Well, this guy wanted the bright lights. He wanted to switch to LED. Well, LED doesn't take much voltage to go full beam, full brightness. So he did his regular lights. They, they, they worked out. You know, the low voltage worked fine on the regular headlights. 
went to go change the the, the daytime running lights. That's when he learned about the, the high beam being the same as the daytime running. Stuck the bulbs in there. Well, the daytime running light low voltage is enough to make the, the LEDs illuminate full blast. And it's like, whoa, dude. Your daytime running lights are just your high beams now. And he was like, yeah, I don't care. So he just drives around with his high beams on all the time during the day. Just full beams. Full high beams. It's just like, what? Yeah, I don't care. That's what he said. I don't care. I was like, dude, you do know that like full of high beams in the daylight is just as shitty as full high beams at night. Like when you drive towards somebody and they get the full high beams on during the day, it still goes right in their eyes. I don't care. I like the color of the light. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Yep. That's where we are as a society. Yep. <laughs> just, and that person's like what I would consider a fairly normal person. Not like a, not a degenerate or anything. It's just like, doesn't care. Nope. Don't care. I'm just like, okay, bud. Well, I guess that's cool. Do it that way. This one is not going to be nearly as good as the others. Ah, uh, whatever. Just going with, I don't care. Don't care. You're not the boss of me. I don't care. I did have a person uh, do something nice the other day. When I went to buy my half and half, I had a thing of half and half in my hand. That's all I had. It was just me, still in a work outfit, like bibs, hat, all that, with half and half in my hand. And a lady had a full grocery cart full of groceries, and they only had one uh, cashier open. And uh, she was like kind of perusing the end cap a little bit there at the old cashier. But she was next, getting ready to go in line. And she happened to look up momentarily and saw me standing there with one thing in my hand and this lady goes sir you can go in front of me and i was like holy cow i haven't had anybody do something uh obviously correct and nice like that in a real long time my normal experience would be oh a person with one item obviously just got off work and is trying to do something with their life no you can wait for me to do my thing because blah 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 that's that's normally how it works so i was pretty happy a little, a little faith in humanity was restored uh, at that moment, which is good. I like that. I even yelled, thanks again, when I left the store. I think the cashier thought I was talking to her. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It don't make no never mind. Whatever. We're getting close to the end here, kids. I'm going to cook this French toast up. Oh, man. So, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Still trying to clean that pan with the power wash. You want to see that? You want to see how much? How, how many weeks has it been since I got the power wash video out? Here, I just I just spray it down. And I'll show you again. That's the condition of my pan. I've been scouring the shit out of that thing with like uh, I've been soaking it. I've been scrubbing it with steel wool. There's my steel wool right there. And uh, th this is the best that I can get this thing. Like Dawn power wash. Give me a break. That's what's in it right now. Is Dawn power wash. I'm, I'm, I'm running it around for a little bit. That ain't never coming clean. That's never coming clean. That pan will never come clean. Dawn Power Wash. Get real. Don't tell me you can clean my pan. When you can't. This is like a piece of toast is what I'm making right now. I think it's toast. I don't think I'm making French. There wasn't enough egg. Whatever. <sighs> yeah. Sunday? I don't know. 33 degrees out. Just barely got a buffer. It is sunny out, though. That's good. Whatever. I keep telling myself I need to do some things. I mean, if it wasn't for the, if it wasn't for the live streams, my kitchen would never get clean. So, thank God for live streaming. Coca-Cola soak? <laughs> like I would waste Coca-Cola soak on that. Coca-Cola. Maybe. Oh, I don't think I have any Coca-Cola, unfortunately. I wish I did. Do you like fast food? Uh, I mean, fast food tastes good. I don't eat it, but... I have a little rule about food, and I'll share that with the internet. You probably shouldn't be buying food through a window. That, that's a piece of philosophy I'll, I'll pass on. The one. If you buy food through a window, you may want to think about your life decisions. Now, in certain circumstances, you can't get it. You have to, like, especially traveling and stuff.
But if you're just sitting there and you're thinking, you know what, I need some food. I'm going to go drive my car and buy food through a window. Eh, you're probably doing life wrong. Just saying. You might be doing life a little bit wrong. On, on multiple levels. On, uh, on health. <laughs> on, uh, let's see. You think oven cleaner might be a good idea? Well, if I had oven cleaner, that'd be a fantastic idea, but I have Dawn Power Wash, and that shit don't do shit. But cle it cleans your refrigerator handle really nice. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Yeah. What I'm worried about now is that grease has soaked up all that poison from the Dawn Power Wash. Now it's going to leak poison out. That's what I'm worried about now. So if I can't get that thing clean, it's probably got whatever that magical Power Wash voodoo is. So now... I used to eat a lot of fast food, then I quit. And then someone started buying me fast food, and I ate a lot of fast food, and then they stopped buying me fast food, so I quit again. But now I haven't eaten fast food in years. That's what I'm doing. It's not for me. What did I see? Okay. I saw someone say, it was like a... And I don't know how, I mean, it was a real, it was a real post, but I don't know how it, it could have been a little disingenuous. The, 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 the synopsis of the post was the guy was saying, I couldn't, I can't even go to McDonald's for less than 80 bucks, is what this guy was saying. When I read that, I was like, what? 80 bucks for McDonald's? And it was like, yeah, I, me and my wife wanted some McDonald's, so he like, he ordered up some food, and he had the receipt for McDonald's, and it was like, some Big Macs, big thing of nuggets, fries, drinks, all that stuff, and it was like, if I remember, it was like 45 bucks in food, which is crazy, but it, it wasn't that much food. It was like a couple burgers and a thing of nuggets and some fries, because like burgers are like eight bucks now or something. I don't, even, I don't know where this guy was living. Anyways, but where it got crazy is he had it delivered, and like it was $35 in delivery. And I, and I, I saw the receipt, like the dude showed the receipt, it was like, there was like a surcharge for prepping the delivery food. There was a, a, a there was a charge for the delivery. There was a fuel charge. There was a mandatory tip. All this shit. His bill was eighty dollars to feed two people McDonald's, and I was just like, "What is happening? Like that can't even be real." Like, I, and it made out. I don't know. I don't even know if it was real. I mean, it looked real, but I'm just like, "Oh my god!" It's just like. Whatever. <laughs> I wish everybody the best of luck in the the near future. Cause like, oh god. Whatever. I just I can't even. I can't even, dude. I, do, I I'm not capable. I can't. I can't do it. I can't figure it out. Oh, the, like the good old days. Like, remember the good old days? <laughs> like, I remember when, this wasn't really that long ago, at the local gas station, they got the fountain soda machine. Forever, you could go, you could buy a fountain soda, when I say fountain soda, I mean the kind that like click, shh, pours in. The local gas station I had had a deal where like you could refill your cup. Because I think for them, like their major cost is like the cost of the cup. Uh, I didn't say anything about fast food. I said order it through a window. Now, if you're going to a Mexican restaurant that sells food through a window, yeah, you can go ahead and Think about that. Any hoozy. It was like 75 cents to fill a giant cup up. And what you could do, it was great in the summer. You have your big, I mean, they're big cups. Uh, big cups. You go in and you fill that thing full of ice. And just fill it full of like whatever soda you like, and then like the ice would end up melting down. And you get all that cold liquid, and the and like a couple quarters, like throw three quarters on the counter, call it a day. 
And then that went up to like a little more than a, it was like, it was like, for a while they tried to keep it less than a dollar and then it went, when it went over a dollar, it was like, dude, I could just, at any moment in my life, I could like search around through the, through the cushions or whatever and I could always find three quarters. And it's like, no big deal. It's like, three quarters, no big deal. But for some reason, like, psychologically, you get over a dollar, well, then I have to, like, get a dollar. Like, I have to find a dollar. Where's a dollar at? I got those into that. Well, what I would tell you about that is if you're buying food through a window, you may want to think about that. Oh wait, I'm closing the four shop. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You look at my cabinets. You notice in my advice, it didn't say the food didn't taste good if you buy it through a window. I never said that. Yeah, quit looking at my cupboards, you sneaky sneaker tin. Oh man, I don't know if I can show it to you, but <laughs> I got my, I got a new ID. I got one of those real IDs. Did I tell you guys that real ID story? Holy shit, the world's getting crazy. So like the, the, the new thing is you gotta have a real ID, otherwise you can't do anything. You can't, you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything. Like you're not a real person. And my ID was due this year to get renewed. So I was like, I guess I'm going to get me a real ID. So I was like, got a piece of mail. I got my old ID. I was like, I'm going to bring my old passports. I bring, I bring two passports. Both happen to be expired, but I was like, I got two of them, you know. You can't get a real passport unless you're real, right? When you get your passport, that's a real passport, and it's real. There's just a date on the end that says expired, but like up until that date, it's official, and you can go around the world with all the... Magic and majesty of a United States citizen if you have an American passport. Anyways, I go down to the thing. They're like, do you have an appointment? I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm here. Like, welcome to my current appointment. I'm standing in front of you. Like, well, sir, uh, due to COVID-19 reasons, we're doing appointments now for uh, getting your driver's license renewed. And I was like, oh, and I look around. There's no, like, there's like four people. I'm like, really? You got, <laughs> looks pretty busy. How about you sign me up for an appointment right now? You know, like. I'll take the next appointment, please. And they're like, oh, well, sir, the way we do it is if you don't have a scheduled appointment, we'll put you in the contingency line. And if we end up getting time to go to the contingency line, then we'll go in order as uh, you showed up. And I was like, all right, what's the wait? She goes, two hours. And I was like, I'm looking around. I'm like, two hours? We you spending 45 minutes per person? Because there's nobody here. Like, it was empty. Sorry, sir, that's just the way it goes. So I was like, all right, well, you know. Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, she wanted to know, like, am I renewing? And I was like, oh, yeah, no, I'm renewing. And she's like, well, you can come back later. I was like, actually, I kind of can't because I got, like, two days to do this. And she's like, no, sure, you get 90 days or, no, you get 60 days. And I was like, yeah, that was uh, 58 days ago. <laughs> like, or 38 days ago. Like, I'd waited months past, whatever. No big deal. Oh, are you getting the real ID? And I'm like, well, yeah. She's like, do you have your, and this is where it gets good. Do you have your social security card? Do you have your birth certificate? Do you have uh, three pieces of mail at your current address that are from an official mail producing blah, 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 and a bunch of other shit? And I'm like, no. Like, who carries their goddamn birth certificate with them or their social security card? Like, it's supposed to leave that in the same place. I was like, I have this and this and this. And she's like, well, that's not good enough. And she goes, oh, and your birth certificate can't be the one with the footprint on the bottom. That's not a real birth certificate. And I was like, whatever, lady. Like, trust me. I was born. I got one of those. So I make some phone calls to the people that hold my birth certificate information. And, or I, I get ready to do this. Sorry, I forgot this part. She goes, you can't leave. And I'm like, why can't I leave? Well, you'll lose your spot in line. And I was like, why would I lose my spot in line? You've issued me my number. And you told me I can't go before my number's called. You tell me if I leave, my number is null and void. And you told me it's two hours. Like, I'm pretty sure, because I live like a block away, I can make it back to my house in here within two hour window. Like, just, and I, I told the lady, I'm going to go sit right over, I, I'm going to sit right over there. You'll, I'm, I'm right, I'm right, right, I'm right there. And I just, 
I just left. Right back to my house. I get my social security card. I get all everything. I got bank notes, credit card receipts, medical bills. I get everything. Make a phone call to the birth certificate person in my life. They're like, uh, I'm not home. I'm like, oh, well, I'll break into your safe or whatever and get the shit out. And I go up there, crack the code, get in, find the stuff. All I can find is the version with my footprint. I know it's not disallowed. I'm fucking I'm taking that anyway. I grab that thing, run back to the DMV. It's like, I got this. And she goes, no, that doesn't work. That's not a real birth certificate. That's a souvenir. So... The piece of paper that the hospital issued my parents when I was born, signed by the doctor who caught me when I, when I was born, that's a souvenir. That's not a real birth certificate. That's a souvenir. You need a real birth certificate. And I was like, well, what's the difference? Well, the difference is the real souvenir is printed on special paper. Special paper. Not regular paper, but special paper. And it's the new special paper. The old special paper? Nope. It's got to be on the new special paper because the old special paper wasn't special enough. You could have that be uh, forged. And I was like, well, how does one acquire one of these uh, special paper birth certificates? Well, you got to go to the courthouse and pay $15. And I was like, I'll be right back. She goes, you can't leave, sir. I was like, I think I can. How much time do I got left? She's like, well, you've been gone for 20 minutes. And I was like, I think I still got an hour and 40 minutes. And so I get my car, drive down to the courthouse, run inside, go through the metal detector, all that shit. Do the stupid thing, pay the money, get the official one with the official paperwork. Fly back to the DMV, get in there. And I'm like, oh my God. And I walk back in and there's still like, there's even less people now. It's like me, a dude, a dude from Chicago, and like a few Asian people. Oddly, a lot of Asian people at the DMV. I don't really understand why that is, but most of them were Asian. Anyways, they call the official number. No one's there. They call you another official number. One of the people goes up. They took a test. Call the next official number. Nobody there. Apparently, it's not time for the next official number. So then I start calling the unofficial numbers. It's like uh, 601. Nobody. 602. Nobody. Because every, everybody got told two hours. was like, I'm out. You know, everybody just left. So they spent, like, I swear to God, 10 minutes calling numbers that nobody. And like it's like me and, like, this dude and that dude, and then, like, the guy behind me is there for a scheduled appointment. Like, he has to wait till this time, even though <laughs> it's just, like, uh, he's official. Like, the guy behind me was official. He had an official appointment for an official time, and, like, the last official appointment was over, but there was no one to take the next official appointment because, like, they hadn't scheduled that time. He's sitting there. He's waiting. Well, he can't go until his official appointment, so he's sitting there watching us dummies who are unofficial, and they're just calling numbers and calling numbers and calling numbers. Nobody's there. And I finally said, like, we figured it out. Like, the one guy was in front. Like, he was, like, 621. I was 620, what, 3. And the guy behind me was 624. And I just, and then this guy finally got called. They're calling. I was like, dude, I'm 623. There's nobody else here. Just call my number. And the guy kind of looked at me and was like, mm, we don't do that here at the DMV. We got to call the number. And I was like, dude. There's nobody here. Like, I'm next. I mean, we've all talked amongst ourselves. We know who's next. We know. That guy's waiting for the bus. If he can get his shit done, he gets to go home an hour early. And it's coming up close on his bus tour. And he's going to have to sit here for another hour. He's been here for two hours already. Just call the number so we can get this thing going. No, 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 no. Anyways, I get my turn called. I go up there. And when they take my picture, I swear to God, this is the frame shot. They, they got half of my chin, and then my beard touches the side of my ID, and I look like an axe murderer. Like, holy shit. Like, if, if I ever go on some rampage, which I'm never going to do, but if I did, the photograph would be so realistic to how I would look at that moment. Like, it's the craziest ID. I want to show you so bad, but it's got my personal information on it. But, God, it's, the, it's just like... Because they printed me off a little piece of paper, and I just looked at that, and I, I was like, do I really look like that? Because, like... I can see myself in the camera now, and I don't. I don't look anything like I look in that photograph. That photograph, I look like I'm there for so, to take souls. Like I'm, I'm here for your soul. Like, hold on. Yeah. Oh my God, it's crazy. But yeah, the one advantage of that is you're having a real bad day and you get pulled over. You're gonna look exactly like your ID. So like, I don't know, maybe get hammered and go get your your ID taken, and then when you get pulled over when you're hammered, you look appropriate. I have no idea. But yeah, that was crazy. Uh, we're only taking appointments at this point. And it's like, it was working so well. They actually put, they had to put a lady by the door to explain the policy. 
Because no one, everyone's just like, are you kidding me? Like, what? So, like, there's a lady by the door, then there's a kiosk, and then there's another kiosk. So, like, I, there was someone talking to the lady when I came in originally. So, I went to the kiosk. Oh, hello, customer. I'm like, oh, press the button. Do you have an appointment? I'm like, nope. And it was like, you need an appointment. I'm like, well, what the hell's the point of the kiosk if the answer is, do you have, or to, if the answer to the question, do you have an appointment, is no, and the and the solution is you need one, like, it wasn't like, oh, let's, let's schedule one. It was like, go to our website and set one up. That was, that was what the kiosk told me when I said no. It was like, oh, you need to go to our website. I'm like, okay, I'm standing here. I'm in the DMV. I'm talking to a computer, and the computer's answer is go to the computer in the sky. That And it's just like, that's kind of weird. It's kind of along the lines of like, uh, what is it like? The auto parts store. So uh, we won't name any names, but uh, there's a there's an very advanced style auto parts store down the road. And they have a website. And if you go to their website and you order stuff off their website, it's you get a discount. They give you a discount if you order. And it's like, oh, so if I go online and I buy something and then you pay someone in a truck to drive it around and deliver it to my house in a few days, I can get it for cheaper than if I drive literally six down, blocks down the road, walk inside to an employee who's being paid by the hour, have a conversation, have the, the, the handoff between the cash and the product and leave. I pay more for that. But if we pay, and they're like, yeah. And I'm just like, like I, I, I found out about this when I was in there, I was on the website and I'm like, oh yeah, no, let's do the discount. They go, oh, we can't do that. And I'm like, what? Oh, that's online only. And I'm like, so if I order it online, I get it for less than if I just buy it from you right now when I'm standing you right now. Like, I'm right here right now talking to you. That costs me more than if I leave and order it and have it delivered. Yeah, and I was like, I'm going to go to the guy down the street. Like, I told the dude behind the car, I was like, I'm going to go, I don't care what they're charging. If it's more expensive, I'm going to buy it from them because this is bullshit. Like, that's insane. You have a customer in your store wanting to give you money and you're telling them you need to leave if you want to get a deal. I was like, I'm just going to leave. Like, I am not, I, I will not participate in that shit. And the guy's like, hold on. Tippity tap, 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 discount applied. And I was like, was that so hard? Like, it seems weird. Like, you can talk to somebody in corporate. Like, that's not a good policy. You know, give the online discount. That's fine. I don't care. And if uh, someone comes in and asks for it, you probably ought to give it to them right away without arguing because that's a great way to lose a customer because why the hell would you sit around... Sorry, sir, you drove all the way here to give us money. No, you need to leave and order it online. It's like, oh my God, like I'm just going to go pay more with the next guy because he's not an asshole. Like, that's crazy. Like, good luck, good luck, world. I don't even know what to say. I just, the online. Do you have online? My new thing is like, no, I don't have online. Like, anytime that comes up, do you, smart, I was like, no, not got one of those. No, don't got online. Don't have, I don't really know anything about that. And like, there's actually, it's like situations now where like, you can't proceed. You have to have online. And it's like, I don't know. When I signed up for the service, I remember signing an agreement that said I would have online. I mean, some of those do, but like, like the driver's license thing, I do not recall ever in my life having a caveat of you must have online access in order to receive a driver's license. Like, I don't remember that at all, ever. Does anyone else remember that? When you're growing up, they say, hey, don't forget when you get uh, halfway through your life, you're going to have to have online so you can get a driver's license because you're going to have to set an appointment up and we only do it online. And I'm just like, I don't understand. Like, what if I live in a cave, but yet want to drive my car? What do I mean? How electricity is, 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 is electricity required to have a driver's license? Is a home required to have a driver? I suppose maybe a PO box. I have no idea how it works. Uh, do you have to have, I don't know. Heat, do you have to have water? Do you have to have a water bill? I think you do. Do you have an official? Because, like, they've tied the official, like, oh, it's just, like, it's crazy. I don't understand. Then I found out that they put the time back on the uh, real ID thing. They've pushed it back because, apparently, not enough people have their official birth certificate, their social security card, and, like, 16 pieces of billing information or whatever it takes. It's just, like, the oh, shit. The one that really gets me is the, the expired passport. <laughs> it's like, what's this? expired passport it's like one of the most official forms of government id but it's like eh, we, we typed an arbitrary number in this column and that's null and void that's not you anymore and it's like well it was me up to that date that wasn't me right i'm it's me see see me 
I will continue with. So it's uh, going to get interesting in your life, friend, because uh, they did push the date back, but coming up here pretty quick. It's no, it's not just flying. No, no, no. Any government building you will have no access to. They told me Social Security office is considered. So you won't be able to go to the Social Security office when you get old enough for Social Security. You can't go to a federal courthouse. Uh, they tried to make it so you couldn't go to the post office, but because post offices are not secured, uh, they're not technically secured, with like guards or whatever. But yeah, they're trying to make it so you can't do anything into the into the government. And when, I, when the lady told me, I was like, wait, so what you're telling me is if I don't have a real ID, I don't have to serve on a federal jury because I won't be allowed in the building? And she kind of looked at me like, oh, and I'm like, ah, ha, 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 ah, score one for no real ID. You may not have to serve on a federal jury if you don't have a real ID because you will not be permitted into the building. But, uh, yeah, shit's crazy. And I was like, well, so then the other thing was like, oh, you don't have to get your real ID today. Just get your regular ID. And then you can come back later when you have all your paperwork and pay, and pay a small fee to have them reissue your ID in the uh, official real ID. And I was like, so I still have to go to the courthouse, pay 15 bucks for the birth certificate. I still have to come back here, pay for all the things. And then you want me to come back later and pay more? Well, yeah. I was like, are you crazy? I can do it all today. Like, I'm just going to gather all that shit and come back and just take care of it all at once. Like, Oh my God. And then I got an ax murderer photograph. Like, God, I want to show you the picture so bad. <laughs> I may, I may do it next week. Cause like I got the paper version. I got the real ID or I got the ID in the mail the other day, but I may do a, well, see, that's the thing is like, I start like, I'm like question like, well, am I real? Like dude, that, so that birth certificate is like the doctor signed his name and it has a stamp on it and it's got it's got my goddamn footprint on it. Like my human being footprint with my finger toe print, whatever you want to call them, are on that paper. And they're like, no, that's a souvenir. That's not a real birth certificate. And I'm like, well, <laughs> fucking souvenir. Like, <laughs> how is that a souvenir? Like, that's a certificate of my birth. Like the dude that was there signed the fucking paper. Like. My parents signed the paper like, we are the ones who were there. And this guy's like, I was there too. And I shit my foot. I was like, stomp. Like, I was there. Everybody was there. And they like, oh, that's not real. That's not real. No, that's not real. And like the real one was like, it was on microfiche. Like they, they had to put the thing in the machine like, and all the things are going by. And like, that's real. And it's like, it was like this little piece of paper. They printed it off in black and white. And it's just like, it was just typed text. That's what it was. It was just. My name, the location, just type text. And then she took that, she stuck it in a photocopier, did a test copy because like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. The, they have printed forms where like it overlays on and like she like just hacked it out with scissors. Like <laughs> that's official. Like this lady made a copy off the, off the microfiche, took scissors, went, rah, 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 didn't even cut it straight, put it in the photocopier. Did a test copy, see if it all lined up right, then put the official paper in, the official paper, with the raised stamp and the thick, thick, and the good, good. And then she photocopied that. Now, that's official. And it's like, well, wait a second now. Let me get this straight. A lady in office took a piece of paper approved by the powers of B and photocopy overlaid text. And that's official. But the, but the ballpoint pin signature of the physician and of the mother signature in her handwriting and the signature of the father in his handwriting and the footprint of the baby in ink, that shit ain't real. <laughs> I almost died laughing. I was like, what the fucking clown world are we living in? That's crazy. Anybody could type that fucking stupid print up. It's just text on a tip, 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 tip. And then just get yourself some of that paper and then just photocopy it on there. That's, I want, that's what they did. They didn't type it on typewriter. She just took the official paper and fed it in with the other thing on top and it just, boop. Yeah, that's official. <laughs> the little line from the scissor cut, you can even see it on the thing. It's like, if you were gonna, like, I don't encourage anybody to forge documents. It's a crime, don't do that. But if someone was gonna forge a document, they would have done a better job than the official document because you wouldn't see that scissor line. On, uh, Oh, shit's crazy. It's not a fit. That's a souvenir. Like, <laughs> and it turns out I had an official one deeper in the old safe that I couldn't find.
But I'm pretty sure that one wouldn't have counted either because it wouldn't have been on the correct paper. I'm pretty sure. I think I talked about that. But I did, I did find my siblings' uh, souvenir birth certificates with a far more substantial official certificate, which was like a little piece of paper about this big. It looked like it was, uh, what did it remind me of? You remember with the old like telegrams, how they, they used to print those telegrams? <laughs> it looked like a telegram. It was like your birth certificate was a telegram or whatever. I, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what do you hear? I don't have a real idea to enter the courthouse. So you don't go into the federal courthouse. You go into the, the county courthouse. So you don't have to have an ID to go in there. They do have metal detectors, though. <sighs> yeah, so, okay, I forgot about that. I walk, through the, I walk up, doop doop been here before. I try to carry weapons with me when I go to the courthouse because that gets a little weird even if you got IDs and shit. So I, like, I don't carry weapons anymore. I did that one time at a, at a knife on me. They got a little, Ugh. I was like, dude, it's not even an illegal life. It's just a pocket knife, but, like, Go ahead, secure it for me. I'll come back and get it later. Uh, they disallowed me to have it. What am I talking about? Uh, real ID. So in America, they, uh, they're they changing the photographic ID to this one that has a little star in the corner, and that's real. The other one's not a real. It allows you to participate in society as a real human being because everybody's out stealing IDs. Anyways, so I walk into the courthouse. I was like, oh, got to do the whole metal detector thing. So it's like keys check, wallet check coins check walk through beep 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 and i was like well, that's weird like sir do you have anything on you i was like mm, i'm wearing a belt you might have to take that off and i was like oh god like as a person who's maybe got a couple extra pounds on them taking your belt out of your belt loops is like at that point i was like i was doing the whole do i really need an id like eh, take my belt off in public or just Oh, yeah, I bet that's a real number. Anyways, I was like, let me try again. And I walked back through again and nothing beeped. And I was like, that's a hell of a metal detector you got there. And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I was like, it didn't beep. Why? You want me to go through a third time? Like, well, you must have touched something. And I was like, can I have my shit back, dude? I got to go get a, a non-souvenir birth certificate. Like, holy Christ. Crack security there at the old courthouse. They're, they're really cracking down on you. Ooh, are you real? <laughs> but anyways, I'm the most official motherfucker you ever met in your life. I am official. Don't you play games with me. I am me. I was starting to question myself for a second. I thought maybe I was fake for a second. Fake ass, fake ID, with fake, fakey, fake, fake. Fake expired passports, two of them. Whatever. Which makes reminds me, I need to get my passport renewed. Because my other one is expired, apparently. I did, whatever. <laughs> Cheers. The video is long. No, that's true. I got a little bit of a rant, so I'm going to let you go. All right. Thanks for, I hope you enjoyed that end. That's pretty good shit at the end there. That's all, that's all real. That's real. Like my ID is real. Whatever. Stay safe. <laughs> this, this video is too long. Show the dog. <laughs> whatever. I got to go scrape ice. Peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm two goats past normal. Cheers.